Welcome to weekly UAS news update, the place where you don't get your news two weeks late. This is the week of May 9th, 2022, and we get four stories this week. The first one being a pretty big one, the DJI Mini 3 Pro was finally released this week. Uh, the uh, most leaked drone in the history of drones, and uh, we'll talk about some details. We'll talk about the Mars Ingenuity drone that is uh, on Mars, that is recovering from a dust storm. We'll talk about Wingcopter, a company that does drone delivery that is getting special airworthiness criteria under part 21. It's a bit complex, but it's, I think, quite a big deal. And then lastly, we'll talk about Flight Fest, which is right around the corner and where we're gonna be. So let's get to it. The first thing this week is the Mini 3 Pro it was finally released by DJI on Tuesday and uh, it packs a whole lot of different features. And now uh, we were lucky to have one. You notice we have not been talking about the Mini 3 for a while because well, we've been testing it and we didn't want to say something that we weren't supposed to. So uh, we put out a whole lot of different content, including a full 40 minute review. Yes, I said 40 minutes. Uh, we did, uh, well, we did what we do best, which is go in details on a lot of things. So we created, I think the longest uh, review of the Mini 3 Pro. If you want to know everything about it, this is a place to to be so we'll put a link somewhere up here and you can see that we'll put link uh, in the description as well but uh, we also put out a, a full blog post that has the review of the drone where you can download sample footage and do a whole lot of uh, testing on your own of the footage and see if you like it better than other drones and then also we created a full deep dive course for you so it's almost two hours of content you're familiar with the deep dive these are the free courses we put together uh, where you can learn everything about the drone all the different features and how it works so uh, talking about the Mini 3 Pro, uh, it's a bit of a departure from what we are used to from DJI, which is the, the mini entry level type of drone, first drone for some people. Uh, this is a bit more expensive in the $600 range at the cheapest and going all the way to almost $1,200 if you add uh, all the bells and whistles and all the different packages. But it can do 4K 60 frame per second. Uh, it's a new sensor, one over 1.3 inch sensor, which is like three quarters of an inch. Uh, it has a new portrait mode where you can take videos in portraits uh, without cropping the actual camera rotates 90 degrees. And then it comes now with master shot, uh, focus track, and a, a bunch of quick shots as well. And it comes with a brand new DJI RC remote, which is a small smart controller, if you want to think about it this way, uh, which punches a lot of different features for a pretty cheap price, actually. So uh, this drone is pretty cool. You can buy it uh, by itself without a controller, which is new. You can buy it with just the uh, traditional RCN1 controller, and then you can also buy it with the new uh, a smart controller on top of it. So like I said, check out the deep dive, check out all the content that we've put out. Uh, I think you'll find this very interesting, uh, but uh, this was fun. This was fun to watch. It was difficult not to talk about it because, well, because uh, we were gonna be in trouble. All right, the next story this week is Ingenuity, which is the drone that is on Mars, uh, experienced a blackout during a dust storm. Uh, now there was dust accumulated on the solar panels that resulted in a pause in the mission for both Ingenuity and the rover Perseverance that's uh, on Mars. Uh, this actually goes to show that the test vehicle that was only supposed to do four flights has now become a massive asset for the team and for the rover that's on the ground. It's a great combination, right? You have this little thing that's rolling around and then it can send up the drone and capture information. It's, uh, it's just really cool. So they've completed 28 flights to date and I think they're just gonna keep on doing that until they can't anymore. All right, the next story this week is a bit more complex in terms of it's a bit more technical and regulatory, but Wingcopter mentioned that they finally got special airworthiness criteria under part 21 for their Wingcopter uh, drone. Now, I'm gonna back out a little bit. Um, the FA under part 107 allows you to fly your drone to fly for commercial purposes, for non-recreational purposes, I'm gonna say, because that's the correct term, but in order to deliver packages, you need to operate under a different set of rules. And that set of rules is called Part 135. And under Part 135, if you want to operate and do drone delivery, then you need to have a drone that is approved under Part 21. I know it's a lot of part, it's pretty complicated. Now, Part 21 is the part that defines how an aircraft 
can fly, an actual full-size aircraft that can carry people. And under Part 21, there is a consideration for a special type of aircraft, such as the wing copter or other aircraft that are going to be flying for drone delivery. Well, wing copter has applied for that special issuance of an airworthiness certificate. And in that process, the FAA had to provide them with criteria. And this is what we're talking about today. The FAA finally came up with a set of criteria that wing copter has to meet in order to be approved under Part 21. So it's not there yet. It's not an airworthiness certificate just yet. It's just a list of criteria. Now, you might think this is not a big deal, but it's kind of a big deal because uh, for these drone delivery companies, in order to go through that process, they have to go through all of this and finally get approval. So uh, we actually had a great discussion with the folks at Wing Copter and Bill from Wing, Wing Copter uh, at the Pixel Drone Show. We're going to put a, down, a link down so you can see and go watch that because, uh, well, because I think Wing Copter is doing things slightly differently because I I think they're approaching drone delivery uh, from a, a, a sense that makes more sense. Let's just put it this way. So uh, I think this is a big step forward for them, especially, and I'm sure we'll see more of these in the future and we'll keep you posted. All right, the next story this week is Flight Fest 2022. Uh, if you're familiar with Flight Test, they put on Flight Fest every year. It's a big, well, it's a big party. It's a big fest of people that want to fly drones and fly uh, model aircraft and everything. Uh, flight Test is pretty much the, the OG, right? They're the original people that uh, made flying drones and flying fixed wing aircraft uh, cool online. They have an amazing channel. Uh, they always have a ton of fun. And we've been working with them for quite a while. So we're really excited to finally meet in person with their whole team. And so we'll, we will be at Flight Fest, which is June 22nd to 26th in Ohio. Uh, we weren't able to make it last year. I actually had, uh, well, we had a, a baby in the way uh, right around that time. So uh, we weren't able to participate, but this year we'll be there. We actually booked our trick, uh, our, our tickets and, and book our rooms and uh, the whole team is going to be there. So we hope to see you there. Make sure that you head out to the website, Flight Fest dot com and uh, we will hopefully see you in ohio in 2022 in june that's it that's all i have for you this week like subscribe leave your comments and uh, as always we'll see you next week